When something is sustainable, it means that something can continue to be made or done without harming the planet. Wow, this fact is so interesting. I'm learning tons about the environment. Yeah, all the facts around Jamara are a great way to learn about the planet and how to protect it. But did you know it's also possible to promote sustainable energy and eco-friendly living in your own den? That sounds cool. How does it work? You can actually design and build your own renewable energy farm and use the power it produces to run your own collection of environmentally friendly den items and learn about why it's so important for us all to do this in the real world too. Wait, I've heard about this. You start out with an eco wind turbine, right? Oh, but I don't have any turbines. That's okay. Let's head to the eco shop. It's right here in Sarapir Forest. Oh, I've seen this, but I couldn't buy anything. It said I needed eco credits? That's right, but don't worry. For now, you just need to get started. Originally, every player got one free turbine as a daily login gift. But if you missed yours, or if you lost it, you can replace it here. You're looking for the turbine that you can buy for sapphires instead of eco credits. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I was worried I wouldn't be able to have an eco-friendly den at all for a second since I traded my turbine. I'll buy one for 100 sapphires. Okay, I've got my turbine up in my den. Now what? You've already begun creating your very own eco-friendly den. Just tap on the wind turbine and take a look. <gasps> hey, it says my eco score is 10, and I have an eco credit now. How did that happen? The eco wind turbine is one of four types of eco generators. The other three are solar panels, water wheels, and geothermal cooling stations. Cool. I have one wind turbine, and it's worth 10 eco points. So that's why my eco score is 10? Exactly. And if you get another turbine, it will go up to 20. Not all generators are worth the same score, though. Turbines and water wheels are worth 10, but solar panels and geothermal cooling towers are 5 each. Okay, so if I want a higher eco score, I should collect generators with a higher point value. Yeah, that makes sense. But what does the eco score even do? Well, first of all, there are eco awards that you can win for getting a high enough score. When you reach 30 points, you win a wood eco plaque. At 50, you get silver, and at 100... You get a gold plaque, right? That'll be so awesome to show everyone my dedication to environmental sustainability and awareness. <laughs> Definitely. But more than that, your eco score is what determines how many eco items you can power in your den. Wait, what? I thought these were eco items. Well, yes, but these are power generators. See that silver eco badge in the corner? While they're active in your den, they generate renewable energy. And the more energy you create, the more eco credits you collect. I heard the generators all generate a different amount of credits per hour. Is that true? Uh-huh. So more generators means more credits. And that means I can finally buy items in the eco shop and make not only a super awesome looking den, but an environmentally sustainable one too? Sure thing. But just like every generator has an eco score, every eco item has an energy cost in order to run it. And your eco score is what covers that cost. Eco generators that make energy have a silver eco badge in the corner, and eco items that use energy have a green badge. If you tap on the green badge, it tells you what eco score you need to power the item. All the score requirements from your items add up, though. So the more you have, the higher your eco score needs to be to power them all. Oh, I get it. So if my eco score is 10, I can only power items that have an energy cost of 10 or less, or I'll need to add more generators to boost my score. And eco-powered items have a green badge instead of a silver one. Wait, then what happens if my eco score is too low? Nothing. Well, I mean, your items won't actually do anything. All eco items have a special attribute that only activates when they have power. They can light up or move around or become interactive in some way. But if you don't have enough power, they just sit there and do nothing. Oh, okay. Wait, am I missing something? I'm sure I've seen lots of other eco items around that aren't here in the shop. How do I get them? Some items are only in the shop for a limited time. And every so often, Jammers with Membership can get exclusive members-only eco items from packed chests or as weekly member gifts. But if you miss something you really want, you can always trade someone for it. That sounds like a fun challenge. So, is that everything then, Leora? Well, meet me as a dinosaur in two seconds. What? Uh, huh? Oh, because only dinosaurs can get into Mesoterra. <laughs> uh-huh which means only dinosaurs can use this den shop. <gasps> OMG, an eco-mechanical triceratops? 
That's so sweet. I know, right? I have six. Whoa, I want one. Of course you do. But don't forget, before you can start buying items, you need to collect enough eco credits. Just placing eco generators in your den starts you collecting credits, but they can only store up to 240 at a time. So you have to return and tap on them regularly to collect your credits. Otherwise, your generator will fill up and it won't be able to add more until you empty it. Once you've got enough, you can open the eco store and buy what you want. And yes, you should totally get the dinosaur queen. Yay! <laughs> Time to start collecting more eco credits! <laughs>